I don't really want to be walking into somebody's living room, but something's living room. Oh my gosh. Pieces of wood. This made an X right here. guys as you can see it's a clear day in the Roanoke Valley and uh, I'm heading off to go to Bottom Creek where I have had several incidences where I felt like there was a Bigfoot or several Bigfoot in the area one with tree knocks uh, one time I was ushered out and I'll, I'll be honest with you I think I've only gone back once maybe twice and I don't really feel comfortable there uh, but I'm gonna go back again just uh, because this was the time of the year that I heard the tree knocks so we're gonna go back see what I can see or hear or whatever about 4 15 so mostly I'm doing this to get back in shape it's been a while since I've hiked a serious hike and so uh, you'll see how my knees doing and all that it's a beautiful day the leaves are already falling but there's still plenty left and it's nice to see the changing colors but it is cool right now now this is a nature conservancy area and if you think about it there are you know there's bigfoot sightings everywhere but there's often uh sightings in uh kind of like protected areas like like the nature conservancy so i just find that a little interesting there are plenty of deer bear and all kinds of other varmints in these woods i just saw a deer Let's see if I can come up here and, and see, put him on camera. Hard to see. 
you back out, we can barely see it. Can't even see it there. Now he's moving. And guys, you know, if you're not used to being in the woods like I am, you can easily walk right by that deer and you would never, ever see him. Just like you would never, ever see a Bigfoot. He could be standing right next to a tree and you may never see him or her. Guys, it is a really heavily traveled game trail here. I don't know if you could see it. But it's going right through there. don't know what that is this is the path that I'm on but that heading out through there clearly heavily traveled so you know what we're gonna walk down through there see what we can see all right if you look right here this could be where deer have bed down Cause that grass is really smushed. Walk up this way. It could be just a road of some kind. I don't know. Wow, look at this. Smash down. All 
I don't really want to be walking into somebody's living room, but something's living room. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Now you can see these are older pieces of wood. That's made an X right here. Now there are some YouTubers that say that they look for X's, like the Bigfoot make X's. I am not saying that's what that is. I'm just saying it's peculiar. We'll keep on walking. We're not on the path at all. If you want to see evidence, you got to get off the path. Look how this tree's grown over like this. I wonder why. I don't think I mean I guess vehicles can get in here I, I'm uh, like maybe government vehicles I'm not sure how but I guess they could because uh, it looks like what used to be a road it may not be a road now I don't see any fresh vehicle tracks or anything I do see some kind of a track right there I'm putting my foot beside this track put this back okay so my heels right here beside its heel my toes end right here but you can see that goes on another four inches and it's from about here to there. That's definitely interesting. I'm not saying that's a Bigfoot track. I don't know what it is. Hmm. It's just interesting. Of course, I've got to walk up here, see what, what's up here. Another pretty big print of some kind. From there, that's my toe. It goes past my toe.
Wow. Oh, this looks like an old cemetery. It's kind of sunken down. And here's another. Another one right here. Uh, there are some old dwellings up here with some old cemetery. There's an old, old cemetery, like 16, 1700s. This is not a marked cemetery that I know of. But there's definitely some headstones. There's another one. Uh, they just put a... Looks like another rock right here with a footstone and a little headstone. Right there because you can see it's just blending in. Wow. And then this has been sort of trampled on. I don't want to be walking on someone's grave. Uh, there's another, looks like a, another headstone right here, but none of these, these are just rocks and that might be the footstone. Oh wow, and over here, guys, I'm getting kind of creeped out, honestly. Uh, I think that's another little headstone. Not sure what that is. It's another marker of some kind, because here's a marker and there's one right there definitely try another footstone and a headstone right here a couple more you can see and then over here is an actual monument and oh here look Says Mary M. Con Connor King from 1853 to 1929. You know, there were people that were lived up here in the 1700s. So, Mary, please rest in peace. And, uh, wow, oh, here's another covered up stone this one just a Peter King that probably was her husband maybe 1849 to 1925 wow and here's uh, here's the monument and it says Craighead, uh, one of the best teachers I've ever known was a Craighead. So Rebecca Craighead is a teacher I know and um, great teacher, awesome, awesome lady. So I don't, I imagine that was their married into name. So I just undercovered, un you know, took the leaves off. This one's Laura Craighead, 1882 to 1939. And then over here, 
Oh. This is sad. Virginia Craighead. October 18th, 1913. October 29th, 1913. Poor Virginia. And then. That's sad. And then here's another Charles Craighead. 18. Charles Craighead, 1875, 1957. Well, this is very crazy. I did not know this was up here. Um, there are some old, old markers here. People have been here from 1700s. I can see why this is a burial spot. I mean, this is a beautiful setting. A little path goes this way. There's a couple more headstones. And here's a small marker right here. Part of it's broken off. I don't know if it says anything. It does. It says. Guys, I, I took a picture and blew it up. Sometimes you can get better images off the pi picture. And I think that says Mary Ann Shorter. And that's funny because one of my dad's best friends, Frank Shorter, uh, they worked together in South Carolina, but Frank was from West Virginia, just like my dad. And he was the the guidance counselor at my high school, Frank Shorter. And he had a daughter named Mary Beth, who we were very close. And I would imagine, since, you know, we're in the mountains here, I, I'll bet you anything they're related somehow, some way, the Shorters. All right, so uh, I'm going to head on out of here and um it's good that my foot that i broke is doing good my knee's doing pretty good and i'm not going to push it but i'll be back we're going to do some bigfoot hunts here it is one squatchy place i have had numerous followers uh, talk about seeing Bigfoot just off the Blue Ridge Parkway and that's where we are not too far from the Blue Ridge Parkway don't forget to like and subscribe uh, liking really helps commenting really helps i love comments uh unless they're stupid but other than that uh and that doesn't mean ignorant stupid there's people that l literally try to be stupid uh so i love comments please like definitely subscribe and uh then i've got patreon uh, members and youtube members if you want to consider doing that you can and always guys keep it squatchy i just heard a real heavy step over here
There it was again. All right, I'm gonna walk with the camera pointing behind me. I just thought of something. I did a video here and I came across a couple, I think it was three, I think, two or three Amish girls. And before I saw them, I heard like a baby crying. And where I, heard the baby crying was right at that intersection where I would go up that road. So I was like, what the heck? Why? Is there somebody else out here that has a baby? And I walked on and I met the three Amish girls and I asked them if they heard a baby crying. And they're like, no, no, I didn't hear anything. So I, I just thought it was weird and I went on but now walking past there on the way back made me think of that incident where I heard that baby crying that now that creeps me out that really wow I hear some knocking about think it's from squirrels not a woodpecker it's just going tick, 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 tick. Could be trees hitting each other, although there's no wind. Now one time when I was here, uh, the sun actually set and I was walking out of here and it was, it was dark when I had gotten to this point right here. And you can see through this area right here, I could hear something walking over here and I could hear something walking over here as I was walking. And I was getting the message basically loud and clear, it's time to go, it's time to go. And I got on my phone, I called Bruce told him about and I called Tina and told her about it and I'll, I'll be honest with you I was very scared it was it was very weird so this is definitely a squatchy place uh, as you can see <laughs> some people say uh, have said it's some people say it's like paranormal activity and with the number of headstones up there I, I, I can't really argue with that too much either so anyway there's crows squawking when they start squawking you gotta watch watch your surroundings they always warn of big predators things like that